yeah, I guess my dream was to be on the stage. And so I achieved my dream already. All right. I've got something different to say than everyone else because I've already, 20 years ago, I decided that I just didn't want to be a teaching and research academic. I wanted to be driven by current issues that are in the industry. And I remember at City University, and this was in 2000 and 2004, because I left Australia in 90s. I decided, nah, I don't want to be doing the wrong thing in 10 years' time and 20 years' time. Yeah. I remember talking to colleagues, just like this room, about what we should be focusing on. And I said, how many of us are out there talking to practitioners, talking to industry about what we're researching, what we're teaching? And there was no show of hands. And after that, I said, well, I'm going to do it anyway. Right. And so did that get me fired? No, I got tenure. Right, in 2009, 2000, sorry, nine years at City U, they gave me tenure in Hong Kong, which is a very high benchmark, much higher than uh, universities in Australia. But one year later, I gave it up because I still wanted to grow and went to Hong Kong U, ended up teaching Fudan University as part of Hong Kong U. Then Hong Kong U didn't renew my contract after six years. Now, I'm just saying this now for ECRs. I think the last thing you should be worried about is tenure or renewing your contract because I've been there, done that. I've been fired three times. I've voluntarily left about four or five times, okay? So you don't die, okay? <laughs> All, right. All right? So they didn't renew me at Hong Kong U after six years. So guess what? The door closed, but another door opened. I went to the best university in Asia, NUS, in Singapore. I got an opportunity to go there and visit there for one year. They renewed it for another year. And then I was back to back the shoe in Hong Kong and ended up, strange, head of department of accounting at Monash University in Malaysia, there for five years. And you're thinking... Wow, Neil, did you get any research done with chopping and changing? I've got five Financial Times publications, all right, FT55 publications, all right, are focused on quality. So one thing you should take away, ECRs, is focus on the quality, not the quantity. Even if your boss says they want two publications, focus on that moonshot. You've got to focus on that, the big one. If it's not on the FT55, then it goes down your priorities. Focus on the top journals, what is needed to get in the top journal. You only need to get one of them every three or four years. All right? If I divide my A-star publications by the, and I look at the average time it's taken to publish each of them, it's average five or six years. So I've focused on quality, not quantity. All right. so. What's my message? My message is the focus of today was more about, oh, is teaching research. How do we balance it? Okay. More time for this, there's less time for this. More time for this, less time for that. No. I think more like we're going to the moon, we're going to Mars, and we've got to have moonshot. And the moonshot is, the moonshot is doing what I did yesterday. And I didn't see many academics where I was yesterday. I was on an industry panel speaking to the number one global sourcing trade show down in Melbourne Central. I didn't see any other academics there, yet there are academics come around and say, oh, I'm an expert on this. Well, why aren't you down there talking to industry? You know. So I was there yesterday and I'm on a panel here today. So how do I get time for that? Well, when you're thinking of moonshots, you actually make time, you bend time. Okay, time is analog when you look at the clock. But just like those in analytical, you look at the gradients between zero and one. How many gradients are there between zero and one in the zero and one space? Infinite, because you just get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's the same thing in thinking about time. Once you get excited about working with industry, you come back, the research works, you go into the classroom, students see you, because of your authority of the current things that are going on. 
When they see your authority, they don't care about what's written down in the subject outline. They get inspired about what you're bringing into the classroom industry. And so you can bend time. That's my big message for you. But in the short term for ECRs that, like if you're an ECR and you're one year out, okay, you just got to focus on do your research, do the, do the minimum of teaching, be the employee as a teacher, all right? Then transcend into that moonshot person five or 10 years time by working with industry. But how do I manage day to day? I use deep work days. So you spend a whole day working on the research. Fine print, it's a great software for, I know it shouldn't be printing, but fine print enables you to put your paper into, into two pages per sheet, all right? You print that out because sometimes I bring it with me, I bring up my reading glasses because I just want to get into the mood very, very quickly, faster than just open up your computer. Subscribe to YouTube. Seriously, subscribe to YouTube. Why? Because I put this in my car driving next to my dashboard. I commute one and a half hours every day. I'm learning as I'm going to and from work. I don't listen to music when I'm driving, right? When you subscribe to YouTube, you can download YouTubes onto your phone and use it offline. When you don't subscribe, you cannot do that. When you subscribe to YouTube, you can be playing a YouTube and switch to another application. When you don't subscribe, you can't do that. Subscribe to YouTube. Finally, podcasts. Always listen to podcasts. Early this year, when I got the contract here at La Trobe, they said, oh, Neil, we want you to teach forensic accounting. I said, yes. Have I taught it before? No. Within three months, I've made nine and a half hours of video. Top, You have a look near LMS. Great video for the Forensic Accounting Unit. How did I do that? Ah, YouTube, podcasts. And I went through the textbook for the Forensic Accounting four times end-to-end -end audio, traveling to and from work. Okay, that's called no free time. How do you use your time? You've got to bend the time. So you're listening to stuff while you're doing the washing, doing the running, in your car, etc. I'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you.